the bus drop us almost at the top of this academy and looking from here you will realize how immense it is it is said there are over 20,000 Buddhist students here. Housing are quite simple, so they buy building materials and then they build it with their friends. So that's over 4,000 um, a chance to get high ITT sickness and that's why she's selling those um, medicines and also it rains quite often recently so the road condition isn't very good perhaps we don't have longer than 12 hours right Sirta locates in western Sichuan, Gansu Prefecture, traditionally the calm region of Tibetans. There is no train connection and bus is the only means of public transport to get there. Today is a raining day so I hope we have a, a safe ride because western part of Sichuan is quite mountainous. There is a lot of, for example, Nishiryot mud flood. Look at the mountains and we've been actually uh, We've been actually going through tunnels after tunnels. We have been on the road for eight hours now. And for the whole morning, we have been driving in the mountains. We have been driving along the river. In late afternoon, we reached the highland and the view changed. The sun came out. There were more and more beautiful Tibetan houses. As we got near Serta, I saw many monks dressed in red robe. Some were having a picnic, some were walking to the town. This is Serta town and once you're here you will notice that this is quite a religious place because you can see monks everywhere and when I was in the car I saw some of the monks are having picnic on the grassland some of them are uh, with their big cameras uh, shooting pictures it's quite interesting I always thought monks have quite an isolated life but perhaps they're just like us having a quite a normal life and now, I am going to make a reservation for the visitation tomorrow. And since it's a religious place, it's not really an attraction. So the number of visitors are limited every year. And that's why I'm here to book a ticket for tomorrow. I hope I'm lucky. Wow, there are a lot of people. It's 7 p.m. main afternoon and despite long queue, I've just got my ticket for tomorrow's visit. There is also another ticket counter that sells tickets to foreign visitors, people with Macau or Hong Kong passport and uh, people who are uh, under 18 years old. So in that sense, this Buddhism school is open to foreign visitors as well. However, one big issue is that from Chengdu to Seda on this way, there are certain regions that 
restrict foreign visitors. So you need a special permission to go through this region. So if you're a foreigner and if you are interested in visiting this Buddhism school, I highly advise you to talk with some of the tourism agencies to make sure um, that you are allowed or to get the relevant document done before visiting here. Surta County is rather small, so I took an e-bike to go around. The city center isn't very busy. So in a big bucket, that's uh, yogurt, the self-made yogurt, and uh, in a bottle, that's yak milk I want some yogurt but that big bucket is too much for me so yeah and I continue the journey the population in Sada is mainly Tibetan population and uh, I think I have never seen so many monks in my life I'm walking up now and I'm a little bit worried that this e-scooter won't go up but, but it works so far so Now this is more or less the suburban area of Toyota There is a small food uh, cart It's a store for grilled food and wherever there are some Tibetan momo or in Mandarin Chinese we call it baozi but in Tibetan language they call it momo Jamelo 这个是摇杆就是它可以往前往后你看我现在往前还是往前了 this has never changed. Wherever you go, when I fly the drone, there will always be a very curious kid who wants to see what it looks like in the screen, who wants to fly the drone themselves.
The next morning, before visiting the Buddhist academy, a girl from the hostel brought me to a Tibetan wedding nearby. In many small places in China, wedding is a blissful moment. So when a friend brings another friend, even if they are total strangers, the wedding family will generously extend their hospitality. <laughs> We're strangers, but they just let us in. This is quite a grand wedding, so look, that is a beautiful wedding car and then there are some girls and boys who are dancing and this must be the family of uh, the bride and the grooms so there's a long table with a lot of food and over there the crowd they are they are giving gift money and this tradition is quite close to Han tradition we also have to offer a gift money as a, a token of uh, best wishes during the wedding All guests dressed up beautifully in traditional style. Soon we were led to sit at a table and served with milk tea, silver weed with sugar, and yak meat. And then came the toast. Oh, oh, That is the bride and bridegroom. Yeah, they just came to our table and toast. <laughs> At 3 p.m., we boarded the bus to Serta Larungar Buddhist School. After 30 minutes ride, we drove onto a hill where many red small houses spread. The bus dropped us almost at the top of this academy and looking from here you will realize how immense it is. It is said there are over 20,000 Buddhist students here and look, it's all red. The layout of the academy is relatively simple. So in the middle, that area, that's the public area for teaching. And then I guess to our side, this side, I've seen some nuns. So this is Jumuchu. <laughs> the living area for female nuns uh, there is a quite a strict uh, gender segregation so men live on the other side women live on uh, on this side all the dwellings are built in a more organic way very close to each other when you see a sign like this Lama it means that it's a female space it's for the nuns not for the monks <laughs> For every student who is studying here, they need their own house. Housing are quite simple, so they buy building materials and then they build it with their friends. So quite a lot of construction work is going on. But I can imagine that in winter it can be really cold because the summer here is very short. 
The education system here is quite different. So La Rong Wu Ming Fo Xue Yan Wu Ming refers to five different sciences. This include medical science, philosophy, and other subjects that I am not aware of. And to get a degree, it's quite demanding. So it takes about six years, sometimes even 30 years to get a degree. Of course, they also take short-term students, um, but then they have to study in a, in, a, in a separate space, let's say. But there is a mix of population. So there are Buddhist students from all over China and even from, from other countries. It's quite a sophisticated education system. It's quite an official, um, a very formal Buddhist academy. Larum is more academy than an attraction, so drones are strictly prohibited, and sightseeing is limited to certain areas. <laughs> After a while, I took a bus with the locals and got off in the center of the academy. In the center area, in this public region, there is almost everything you need for daily life. There are many bookstores, supermarket, clothes shops, shops for electronics, even cell phone repairment store. There is also express service, delivery service. <laughs> So this is the end of my today's video and I am waiting for the bus like everyone else. Uh, I hope you enjoy today's content and if you like my videos, please give me a thumb up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.